weekend coming up we have hired a motorhome actually technically we've borrowed a motorhome Bailey of Bristol contacted us after our video a couple of months back saying that we were thinking of downsizing and we actually did a review of one of their vans and they were like would you like to borrow it for a weekend and of course we said yes because it gives us an opportunity to try out whether downsizing from a big van to a little van would actually work for us and we thought that that was very generous of them they even said we could bring Mac the puppy so we're bringing Mac the puppy and we've got it for the whole bank holiday weekend, which is quite fun. It's a little bit scary having somebody else's van. We've not done that before. We've never hired a motorhome. The other thing we've decided to do, because we're crazy, is go wild camping for the weekend, because it's bank holiday. And so we've got three, I think we've got four nights in total, which is quite nice. And, but we were looking at campsites, and the problem is we're used to airs and we're used to wild camping. And campsites, we've had some very bad experiences on in the UK. I'm not by any means saying that all campsites in the UK are horrendous, because they're not, we've seen some incredible ones. But we are very, very wary, especially on a bank holiday weekend, of getting into the situation that we've been in the past, where we have people who drink all night, who are up all night, who are having a great time, but making a lot of noise. And I guess we're just not into that, especially when it's somebody else's party. I suppose if it was our party, it would be different, but listening to someone else having a load of fun until six o'clock in the morning isn't our idea of fun. So we are avoiding campsites this weekend, which may or may not be a good idea because we don't have any of our wild camping gear with us. So we don't have a barbecue and we don't have um, our fire pit, which I love. We don't have any outdoor chairs. We don't have, um, we have an inverter which could be a problem because I don't have a laptop. Well, my laptop is ridiculously power hungry. You, like, you turn it on and an hour, two hours later, it's at like 20%, it's crazy. So that's our biggest problem when we wild camp is my laptop. And the problem is I love my laptop. It does everything I want it to do, but it is crazy power hungry. And we've been trying to find ways of making it a bit better and struggling. Phones are pretty good at and iPads, so we don't really use that much. We also don't have our co-pilot iPad sat nav. We don't have a proper motorhome sat nav at all. I've literally just got Google Maps on my phone. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting because we haven't bothered to buy, or we didn't wanna buy a sat nav for the weekend because it's only for a weekend and it was a waste of money. So we're gonna try and do it on the bare, bare, this is minimal camping. We wanna see if it's possible. If like, if you can literally just rent a van and go off and head into the wilds. We're heading towards the Brecon Beacons in Wales, which is beautiful, apparently. I have driven through it, um, but I've never stopped. So I know it's pretty and I've seen pictures and there are some places we've sort of mapped out that we want to go to, but I've never actually been able to explore and drive around. So it's going to be a really interesting weekend. I will film a couple of videos over the weekend, hopefully. We'll see what we do. I'm not sure the weather's going to be that great, unfortunately, so we'll see what we get up to. And we will see how Mac gets on. That could be interesting, putting a dog into a vehicle that isn't ours. I'm a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is, anxious maybe? Yeah, probably. I'm a little bit anxious about how it's going to go. I think my biggest thing is making sure we don't damage the van. I'm a little bit concerned about that because we don't really worry about the odd scratch here and there on our van. But I'm also quite excited because if we could downsize, we love our van, I love it. I love the space, I love the layout, I love the options we've got, I love the payloads, we can just throw all our kit in it. But there are some things we don't like and it all revolves around the fact that it is over three and a half tonnes. And it makes traveling, especially in certain countries in Europe, like Switzerland, really tough because of the paperwork and you can't just get like the cheap vignettes. You have to go off and pay per day or whatever. So yeah, there are various countries across Europe that anything over three and a half tons is a pest. And also I can't drive our motorhome, although I am trying slowly to do my C1 at the moment. Um, it would be really nice to be able to drive our own van. So yeah, 
there are some things that we are seriously intrigued about and whether or not we think we could long-term travel in a smaller van. So this is the intro. Hi, let's see what happens. I will keep you posted. Obviously, I'll keep filming as we go throughout the weekend and I'll put it all together and stick it on a video and hopefully you'll find it useful if you're looking at hiring a van or if you're looking at downsizing your van. Right, we're on the M5. We're we heading are. for Bristol. We are. How are we feeling? Uh, roadworks. Roadworks. We're feeling roadworks. That is how we are feeling. <laughs> are you looking forward to having a smaller van? I'm excited. I'm very, very intrigued because I don't know. I'm not sure what to. Yeah. You know, there is a, a, a real chance that the, if this works, Honda's going to change pretty quick. Um, Honda. Because. Do you think after all the work we've done and the wrap that we had on her and the legs that we've put on her? Maybe, yeah. Do you think? Maybe. But I'm looking forward to trying it in places that we wouldn't normally, like a supermarket that would normally do an absolute pain. Oh, I thought you were going to say a campsite. No, no, <laughs> no, no. You said trying it in I've already had a rant. Want. I started off this whole thing this morning. I was like, we're going to hire a major home. And then I just became a, a rant about why I don't like campsites, especially on bank holiday weekends. Would you? It's been nearly two years since that horrendous night for my birthday with the guys who were up till stupid got the football team. Really? Yeah. Right. They were up till silly o'clock. Wherever we were. And the campsite put us right next to them, which was just bad, bad, bad planning. Yes. So it's a bit cloudy, although there's there's great there's sky there. There's blue blue sky and sheep. Okay, we will go and collect a van. Okay. All right. Let's go. Bailey of Bristol. Bailey of Bristol. I keep saying Bailey's, but it's not. There's no S. Bailey. Bailey. That's a lot of vans. Oh, I can't see it now. I can just see a lot of hedge. Yeah, there is. Okay. So I'm guessing we go. Caravan collection. Caravan all collection. visitors can. No, no, caravan collection. Must report, it says all visitors must report to the security mm. office. Oh, there's a man. There's a man. There's a man. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. We're collecting a motorhome. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and then just go into reception and I'll give Wes a bill. You're a superstar, thank, thank you, you very much. Okay, thank Thanks. You. What a nice guy. Oh, I see. There, yeah, on the end one there. Right, I'm going to turn that off. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There's a little bed. Oh, did she so dippy? <laughs> Hi. So, this is our major home. It's Alliance 592 and it's really clean and empty and there's no stuff in it. And oh, look at this. This is awesome. We've got these on our van at the moment, but this one's got USB charging points, which I was quite excited about. I'm going to take that little tag off actually. But so I think there's two. Yeah, there's two with USB charging points. Are there USB charging at the front? Yeah, there's a USB charging lead at the front. Although there's only one, so we have to fight over that. I think that's also for the iPod connection. Oh, yeah. Because that's the little phone holder. Oh, yeah. That's the same as ours. Oh, no, there's a couple, actually. There's an extra one, if I can pull it back. Oh, sorry, I was my bum. There's another USB. Ah, uh, they've changed the... Um, and they've got a 12 volt Cigarette light there. socket for a USB. Okay, yeah, cool. they have. So we've got two at the front. We've got a cup holder thingy. Which is all very exciting. That moves. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And then we've got uh, uh, that push, lifting up bit. Push, lift, push yeah. that one. Oh, from the back. Oh. Right. Where your hand your left hand. Yes. Right, pull it up. Uh, oh. It's an iPod holder. Oh. iPod holder. Well there's lights and noise. So it's working. What a good size fridge actually. Yeah, it's it's facing to us, isn't it? Yeah. So we stuck it on battery. No, we stuck on a hook mains, up while we so got it hooked up. Should chill quite quickly. All right, perfect. So now we're going to transfer all of our stuff from the car in here and a puppy. And off we go. Uh, what stuff in your car needs to come? Because Everything on the back seat, pretty much. So certainly the big duvet and things. Everything on the back seat. <laughs> Have you seen your back seat? Yep. Your back seat's bigger than this van. But we said we wanted to try as if we were still, like it was okay. our van and we had stuff. Because our biggest problem with a smaller van is storage space. And we're not sure entirely how much, oh no, take it off.
not sure how much we can get in. So we said we'd try it. So that's taken up pretty much that entire locker. See how we do. Towels, bread, more popcorn. We yeah, a lot of popcorn. Okay, we're gonna get going, and we'll finish this off later. Before we've even gone anywhere. What is it? Oh, in their defence, it's not actually plugged, um, done in. Yeah, it's not been hooked in. I'll take it off for now so we're not too long and put it on the seat. How's that going to be? Oh. Now that should be good. That should be good. Okay, we'll try that. It comes with an inbuilt summer. I've got it on my thing here just in case. This one says 40 odd minutes. Okay. Cool. So we've got, them, we've got them both running. All good. Well then, let's go. Yes. In our baby van. It's tight. Isn't it? Hi, Pop. Oh, he's like, what, this again? Okay. Oh, mind the red post. Yeah, I've Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely bank holiday. Carousel 50 yards, keep right, then uh, turn okay. right. And just let me get you on the main road and I can play with the settings. She's light, isn't she? Yeah, very. Which is nice, she goes like a clappers. Very, very nice. What's your impressions so far? Sorry. I actually really like it. I like... I love how new and clean it feels, but that's because it's new and clean. I love the headroom, we've always said that. Um, I'm really intrigued by the layout. We've never had a layout anything like this, so I don't know how I feel about it. It's different. I'm really impressed by the storage. Yeah. All of that stuff off the back seat and it was piled high. I went to take a photo before we did it all, but I forgot. Um, and it's just disappeared. There's loads of room left. Yeah. You can't actually get a shower at the moment. I did see <laughs> that you true. stuff That's true. most of it into the shower. A bit later we'll actually properly so, pack away. Yeah. I'll do that actually while you're working later. Um, what's your first impressions? Mine's very neat. Um, what you like to drive? What? The, could you really go all the way down there? Oh, I wasn't looking. Sorry. Oh, video. Oh, that's fine. Um, um, what's my first impression? It's neat. It's very neat. I don't know how we would be with a van conversion on height. Yeah. Because it's lower. Yes, it is a lot lower. Um, so I don't know. Which is why we said we haven't decided yeah. in a motorhome and a van because the height in there and the space it feels because you've got that higher yeah it's uh, space. interesting i mean it, it's a peugeot but it, it's, it's actually the same fit so yeah it looks very from, similar from doesn't it it is the same yeah. the same dashboard uh, it's just a euro six which means that the controls are here on the steering wheel these oh, yeah. rather than down on the um is it as wide as that the same width it's exactly the same but this part is exactly the same it feels smaller, doesn't it? No, I don't think it does. I think it feels the same. But you've still got the same cubby holes at the top and stuff. And it's still got the same sunroof, give or take. So yeah. no, I think this bit feels exactly the same. Probably is. Right, Wales. I like the fact that, that it's a metre and a half shorter than ours. But so far, it doesn't feel like it. How, how big is this? 5.9. We're seven point something. Seven point eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's so nearly two it's meters shorter than us. And it, it just doesn't. I don't. I haven't missed anything yet. It'd be interesting tonight. Yeah. I'm really apprehensive about the bed. I think the bed's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, uncle. Cool. You're forgetting how short they are. I know. Little baby van. I am so impressed by the sunroof. Actually. It's not squeaking. Although well, because we haven't got bed. The difference is it's not electric and it's got uh, five shut down. Whereas ours is electric and it only has two shutdowns. Oh, uh, okay. So it's clamped down quite nice. Though. Yeah, it's really well clamped down. Oh, we're getting that. Easy. Which 
side do you want? Should we go up against the edge, yeah? So we've stopped and I turned on the tap to get the puppy some water and they left all the um, uh, taps open. They've obviously bled the system or whatever and the shower was on and all the bags that I stuck in the shower to uh, to make a quick getaway uh, got wet. So, whoops, our fault for not checking that they were on and off properly. So, um, yes, now most of my clothes are wet, but it's okay, we will fix it. Well, I was filming how many get four people in, but I'm trying to do it without putting your face in it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you hold it. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't actually want to interrupt you talking, I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> Is it so filming though, then? It's filming, yeah. Oh. yeah. See, look, there's four of us and a dog. Yeah. And there's space. There's Loads the dog. of space. I can just about the touch one. the other I know. Space. <laughs> Literally. Go, go, gadget, Yeah, then. literally, like... Um, <laughs> you put another pillow behind you and just want to push you out a bit. I've got a booster seat. <laughs> oh, so I... Shh, shh, it's fine, it's fine. Calm, good boy. See, this is what we've got to put up with. Good boy. It's going to be a long, well, long actually, weekend. Can I, can I borrow you while he's filming? <laughs> mm. what? Can you can you open that vent? <laughs> I genuinely want... I know it's like probably going to be here. really bad. Not, not, I'm sorry, not, but not, I'm not convinced not, you could. This vent? Yeah. And then, do you reckon you could open? No, there's no way in heck you could no, open no that. Way. How tall are you? <laughs> I can't even reach it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Um, it's not going to work, is it? No, I'm about 5'2". Five, five You're admitting to 5'2", okay. You're about the same height as Jade, then. Oh, Dan's broken it. I haven't broken it. Oh, there we go. Because I can't it's reach it. Thank I can't you. Reach Thank it. you for being my my guinea pig. And that's I okay. There we go. We're making the bed up. I missed the start of it. Yeah. Come on. Come on, girl. Go, Daddy. Good boy. You're not supposed to be on that. Good boy. All right. Get on the sheet. Get on the sheet. So, how has it been making the bed? Because I kind um, of missed it. It was okay. It mm. was. Did you put the rolled up edges towards the edges? Because yeah, it looks like there's a bump on this side. Yeah. There's, right there. There's a, there's a drop down, that's where the pillows go. The, is, the pillows go on that side, do they? Yeah, the problem is the roll is there, so that's higher. So we've either got to put that in the middle there. Right. I thought the roll went on the edge. And then do what in the middle? Okay. All right, we'll try it so like that the then. Moment, and then we'll so put the pillows there. I see what you think. The yeah, rolls yeah. are going to go there. Yeah. So, and then yeah, you, old puppy. That's my space. <laughs> That's my space. <laughs> I did not put that there for you. So anyway, two quick things. The first is I'm going to turn down the temperature. To eighteen degrees. To eighteen, she said. I've just turned it up. It wasn't on twenty-three. There we go. That's on there. And the second thing is. I want to turn the water tank pump off, which I've just done. Yep. And then, oh, awning light oh, is now off. Good. Light, oh no, we won't do that. And they're all off. Can you tell me what the voltage, the battery uh, That's exactly what I was going to do. How do I do so that? Just the, press the up the arrow. Main. Yep. Yeah. Hang on, let me do that so you can, okay. there we go. So that's, was it 12.2 so we, volts? There we've had an evening with okay, it's been up to 12.3 volts. Yep. Uh, it's been, it was at 12, so it's gone from 12.5 down to 12.2. So we came back from our walk at about half nine, mm. and it's now half eleven, so two hours it's gone down 0 0.1, and we've had lights on, heating Easy. on, and the fridge, you no, know, the fridge is on gas, isn't yeah. it? There's no hot water on, it's just been lights and heating. It'll be it hasn't really gone the, down much. In the morning whether or not we get through an evening. Now, what we haven't done, obviously, is charge anything. No, that's true. Nothing's on charge at all, is it? No. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the leisure battery does. So we'll just go through the rest while we're here so you can see what there is. Leisure battery amps at 0 0.9 or 1 amp. We're on leisure battery. 
The internal temperature is apparently 27. I'm not sure I believe that. Wa uh, waste levels at 12%. Our water levels are 81%. Which we would start at 86, doesn't it? And that's the time. Okay. So. Evening of entertaining. Yep. You spent pretty much an entire day in the van. Yep. Where are you at? What are your thoughts? I, I, so far, I love it. It's spacious. We've had four people in and did not feel as though it was overcrowded. No, it's not, it hasn't felt overcrowded once. It's really fascinating given it's a metre and a half shorter. It's two metres shorter. I, I tell you what I love. I love how much storage there is. I think I've said that about 17 times so far, but I'm trying to focus on the dog while we're chatting. There's not much else to see. Um, yeah. So the bed's going to, but the bed's my biggest deal breaker. I've always had an issue with a bench seat going into a bed because I don't see how it can possibly be comfortable. Oh, we'll find out. We're about tonight. to find out, yeah, for tonight. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then the battery. The battery, the problem with this van is there's only uh, a dedicated space for one battery. I would change that cupboard, put a battery box in the cupboard, have a second battery. Yeah, have two, because we use two large batteries. There is a solar panel. There but obviously that's not going to do much in the middle of the night. Panel, solar panel's working. Um, but I, I've got to say, I mean, it's using barely no, no electric. No. Um, to last how long it's lasted, the heating would be a killer. Winter, it would chew through the battery. Um, well, so far it hasn't, though. Yeah, but it's not really on. It has been. It was off at 22. Oh, was it? Yeah, because I turned it off. I was cold. Oh, okay. So it's been on properly for about 22 for about three hours. So it's not really done much. We'll see in the morning. Awesome. They went in. They were loose. All right. Okay. Well, we will speak in the morning mm. and assess how the night was. Night, night, people. Night, night. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You're alive. We are alive. We survived. We, we survived without, what, without cramp. We did. <laughs> it was surprisingly comfortable. How did you find it? I thought it was great. That was really, really good. I always thought but the cushions would be really annoying. And we rearranged them three times, didn't we, to like get rid of... No, we got it right first no, time. We got it right first we time. We got it right first time. We, it was we only knew exactly we what was going on. It was them all together and like, piecemealed it. And then we remembered that there was an info bit in the wardrobe. And we were like, well, why have they provided that? And then we realised that that made a lot more it sense. It makes perfect sense. And it made the bed flat. Yes. So did. I'll show you at some point exactly what we did to make it work. Hmm. But it was really comfy. Yes, surprisingly comfy. Little, uh, I don't have a mug holder, yeah. which so I've made one with the chopping board on the seat. But there is nowhere to put my morning mug of coffee, hmm. which is a bit sad. Really. Hmm. Um, what else do we think? So, do you know what else I found out? Is that the van doesn't shake. Our van, if you move around, it shakes. You can feel it, which is why we've got the stabilising legs. But this one doesn't at all. No, it's surprisingly um, it's stable. Really st it's, yeah, quite small. it's blowing a gale, and uh, it's not really. It is. You've not been outside. I have. It's blowing a gale. For the benefit of the camera, it's I not did my the day. puppy walk in not the morning. Not my day to do the puppy walk today. It's a Saturday, and I get a lion. Um, yeah, it doesn't move, so you don't need legs on this. We haven't even got it on shocks, have we? No. No, we did back it up onto a bit of a, a, a grassy mound. To make a grassy it mound. We, we, a grassy mound. You, you, you will need chocks for the kind of stuff that we did. Oh, but, um, but you won't need hydraulic legs because the weight that that would add to the van. It's the way off. Put isn't you over it? the payload. We're 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 wanting a van light enough yeah. that we can put all our kit in. Yeah. Uh, sort ourselves out and go around the way we do yeah. at the moment yeah. without worrying about oh my word we've just put 10 bottles of water yes we don't have to water. weigh every yeah. single thing we put on now we made a big fuss yesterday about how much electric for heating would use and whether or not we'd have any battery power in the morning so do you want to dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We will on the fly so this is 12.7 volts. Um, 12 .7. So the reason why we're at 12.7 volts, it's daytime, isn't it? Oh, the solar panel's doing solar its job. Solar panel's doing its job, uh, which is great. Didn't it start but at 12.3? We, we got did up. start at 12.3. <laughs> uh, now, what it doesn't give you, which ours does, is it doesn't tell you how many amps you're getting uh, from the solar panel. But that's quite quite good. So we did a night. Um, we had the heating on all night. All 
the heating's on right now. It's on timer doing its... Uh, um, and it's got the hot water on the moment. And it's got the hot water going as well. Um, yeah. And we've got more power now than we did before, which so is good. Has there good been move. anything over the past, let's round up and call it 24 hours, that we haven't been able to do that we can do in our van? Uh, yes. What? Uh, charge your laptop because the power pack is in our van, we didn't bring it. Um, but aside right, from that, we've, we've brought an inverter yeah. uh, that clips onto the leisure battery, but we've got yeah. to lift it up. What we should have done, we weren't sure on the battery power, so no. we didn't want to disturb it. In fairness, I haven't used my laptop yet, so, so we should be all right. We need to do that while we're driving. Okay, so we go back to, back to charging. So we can use the inverter when we're driving. Yes. And not use it when we're stopped. Yes. Yeah, no, right. it, it will choose. That we'll makes sense. Uh, so we can do that when we're on the road today. But I don't think there's anything else. And we've still got ridiculous amount of storage space. So Incredible amount of storage space. Yeah. I don't understand it. No, no. The only understand. thing we're missing right now is a little little office area for me. Yeah. Because we both can't work in the same space. Mm. We'll drive each other mad. Mm. I think. on the phone. <laughs> no, she's the one that gives me grief when I'm on the phone. <laughs> so, um, I'm quite impressed. I thought this was going to be really uncomfortable. I don't know why. I've always had this, no, I want a proper fixed oh, no. I, I actually was I've heard, I've heard this for many, many years. Yeah, yeah, you were the same. <laughs> but also, I quite like the bed being low. Yes, I love the bed being low. Why? Uh, because it's a pain in the bum to get in and out of the bed yes, when it's so true. high. <laughs> I have nearly broke Indiana my neck Jones many, many trying. times trying to get and in. And I wasn't worried about him falling off our bed mm. at all. I'm never worried about him falling off the bed. I am. <laughs> he's robust. No, he's not that robust. Mm. And he likes to roll around in his sleep. Right. And, I've always and obviously to he's um, relaxed. <laughs> yes, he's quite calm. Don't worry, Bailey, he's on our sheet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's all good, he's all good. Um, At no point has the puppy touched the cloth. No, there's only tiny, tiny little things. Like the cup holder. I mean, but that I'm is not really, sure. we're getting really nitpicky. Yeah, I was just going to say, you really kind of... Uh, but that's, yeah, it's just yeah, little we things. Could, we could do a, a little drop these, down. I, these bug me. So, oh. on our cupboards, they're fine to lift up, but on our cupboards, when you shut them, they shut automatically. Mm. And on these, you have to push the button in. Are you impressed mm. I'm doing this without looking? I don't know. <laughs> you have to push the button in. I switched in the light on four times, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is a silly little niggly thing that is just not what we're used to. Mm. But I'm sure when we, by the end of the weekend, we're probably used to it, to be fair. It doesn't bother me. I just keep forgetting to mm. when we set off things flying. You're very pedantic. <laughs> right, I think okay. we're done. I think we're good. Okay, then. Excellent. Sky. So when they are gone, then we are out. We're talking.